Hey there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome you to yet another uh, title belt boxing tournament. Uh, we did the 1944 tournament, which Joe Louie won. 1966, Freddie Little of the U.S. won. 1908, was Stanley Ketchel winning. And 2002, Hector Macho Camacho of Puerto Rico, who shocked Lennox Lewis. So, I'm going to do another um, simulation, like another generator. So, obviously, this is not the right year, 2002. Here we go. We got 1956. So 1956 will be the next tournament in our thing. So we will write down 1956. 1956. And make sure I'm the schedule. 235 possible fights. So we'll get that going. Do a little bit of genetic. Oh, fuck. Do a little bit of cosmetic. Shit, May the 1st, because we actually do that because there's somebody by the name of Lennox Lewis who will fight in the 1956 tournament. Now you may be thinking, why? It just doesn't make sense. Well, it does make sense. Colossal, page 8. Okay, so the fight will be Greaves and Busso. Johnny Busso, I think I know him. Billy Lauter is a page 27 guy. Okay, so let's go page two. Let's go with Gabriel Alarde. And let's go with Horatio Acavello. He's had a few fights, so he'll get a chance to fight again. These guys, Harley Bashirs. Page one. Let's go with the Peruvian Mino Mina. And let's go with Harold Johnson. We saw him in one semifinal. Chikui and Sunny Gill. Muhammad. Page 25. We're going to put him page 3. And we will have Henry Hank. And George Benton. Fight this out. Om and Eddie Chavez. I'm not sure about Chavez. Sherman Ohm is a page 14 guy. Let's put him to page 5. Because of his ranking rating. Big Mario Hansen. Surprised he's an eight. We'll put him against Johnny Gonzal Gonzalez. Get these guys. I think he's Gidmore. I'm not sure. Fior is a pay. Okay. Fior, let's go with Gaspar Ortega. Get him. His first fight, George Chavalo. Morohita Nihon. Oh, he's from Cuba. 29. Let's go with Kid Gallivan. And we Floyd Patterson. We'll give Floyd Patterson a chance to with Gallivan. Jackie Graves, Young Jean Buffalo. Jackie Graves, page 11. Ooh, close. Gene Armstrong versus Don Williams. So we'll give those guys. Oh, there's Kid Gallivan. He was picked. As with Charles. I'll, go, I'll give Harry Matthews that much. Dickie Wong. I think we should. I think that's kind of an appropriate subject. Page four, let's go with Romero of Espan versus um, Carl Olson from the United States. Two and one. Cecil Shorts. Cecil Shorts, page 23, page 3. We're going to go with page 3. Let's go with Joey Ganaba Giambra and Angel Robinson Garcia. Paul Pender, I remember him, so I'll let him fight. Joe Lopes is page 10, okay? So he could fight Willie Hobner, Richie Sands, Jesse Smith. Richie Sands, I don't know. Page 24, yeah, he will be a page 3 boy. Page 3, let's go with uh, Miguel Barrios from Puerto Rico. And let's go with the Belizean Ludwig Lightburn. Steve Tony, Steve, Stefan Reddell. Steve Tony is a page 30 guy. Um, let's go with Dick Tiger. And then we'll go with Lennox Lewis. Lennox, yep, Lennox Lewis. 
four more. So he'll face Dick Tiger. We'll give him a bit of a match up there. So I did all that. No one's in it twice. So yeah, got a couple Canadian. Willie Greaves. I didn't know he was Canadian. Okay, so Greaves and Chavalo will represent Canada. Other countries will be represented. Lennox Lewis gets the the pleasure of being the last first round fight. He might be Dick, Dick Tiger. He may get to the first semis. But first is Gabriel Alorde and Kid Gallivan, who who lost. I think they both were in the sixty six tournament. Mary serves me right, but they're now they've won three straight. So Alorde and Gallivan. So we'll see one non American in the final for sure. Philippines versus Cuba. Uh, we're into parking Cuba. Michael Pass, your announcer. Thick Dragulich, your referee with Tremetra, Marty and Morrison, your judges. Rocco Del Sexto is your ringside expert. Alorde, Flash Alorde, who only died at age 50. Wow. Guy didn't live that long. Biography, 88, 27, and 2. Titles, he's won a pair of super featherweights. So that's huge. He fought in the, yeah, he fought in the 66 tournament and got decisioned by Freddie Little. But he's back. And he's got Horacio Acavello, who he beat by decision. He killed Harold Johnson and decisioned on Damaso Colossal. So I think he's been another Cuban. Hit Gallivan, the Cuban Hawk, from 1926 to 2003. So he was around a while. He was the world welterweight champion for a while. Personal history, he did... Oh, he fought in the 1944 tournament. I guess he was out through 44. He lost to Joe Lewis by decision, but he has decisioned Floyd Patterson, Gaspar Ortega, and Igmar Johansson. So basically, he's gone the distance with these guys. Plus, he doesn't have a knockout. So let's see. Philippines or Cuba? Who will get a spot into the final? So if any of these fighters get to seven belts, then basically they'll be like not able to compete because it would just be compared to other fighters. But there will there could possibly be times that there is a um that you know someone famous get gets in but with the auto scheduler but only gets to seven gets more than seven and you know they get the benefit of the doubt the auto scheduler kind of figures them out. So these two guys are really fighting it out.
So, all right, let's get the scorecard. So for nine rounds, ooh, it's a tie. Round two was a draw, but these two guys are really slugging it out. We might have a tight race. We might even have a tie. These guys have really been pretty good. Like, no swelling, no injuries. These guys are really fighting it out without getting hurt. So, they're just magical. I know they're not heavyweights, but they are putting on a clinic in the semifinals. I wonder if Lennox Lewis did, in fact, get through the final um, round. Three minutes left. These guys have really gone far. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. Oh, these guys really fought to the nail. Whoops, sorry about that. Scorecards. Scorecard has a Lorden winning over Gallivan. It was close, but the, the last five rounds were basically a Lorde's for the taking. So, I think Alvin got a little bit too passive. For everyone's looking. Let's see what Michael Pass says. One forty-five, one forty for a lower date. Yep, yeah, I figured as much. Check my tear off. Ross Marchi put the Swiss puts it at an even. Wow. That's a difference. One forty three all for Marty? And Morrison puts the fight 145, 141, 4. Alorde. It's got to be Alorde. I mean, I don't think Alavan really put up a clinic. Yep, Gabriel Alorde. The majority decision. Nice job by him. Gallivan could have been a little, shouldn't have been so passive and all that. Punches room. Well, Alorde threw a lot more punches. The accuracy was 30, 27. So Gallivan, except for crosses, basically the jabs and hooks worked for Alorde. And no, Lennox did not qualify. It's Tiger versus Dick Tiger. Oh, yeah, the guy who beat Lewis. He gets Ezra Charles, so it's U.S. Nigeria. 
at Cincinnati Gardens. Amy Hayes is, will announce. Timor Roman, your referee. Cavalieri Baird and Ira Golas, your judges. And Richard Plunkett, the ringside expert. So Ezra Charles, 3-0, the Cincinnati Cobra. Well, he's fighting in Cincinnati. Why not? He was 54 when he died. Roughly, 21. So 40 to 59. His biography, 93, 25, and 1. World Heavyweight Champion at one time. I think Patterson beat him, didn't he? But anyway, in his three tournament matches, he beat Henry Matthews by KO. He had a decision against Gene Armstrong and KO'd Luis Romero. So, not a bad road. Dick Tiger from 1929 to 1971. No, he died just a year after he left. Tiger 60, 19, and 3. The WBC, uh, WBA middleweight and light heavyweight champion. Commonwealth middleweight title because Nigeria is part of the Commonwealth. Personal history, he went to the second tournament in 66 and got TKO'd by Harold Johnson. But shockingly, he TKO'd Lennox Lewis. And then he had a split decision against Ludwig Lightburn, the Haitian, and a technical knockout of Joe Lopes. So, we'll see. Dick Tiger against Ezra Charles will be the second semifinal. The winner gets Gabriel Alorde of the Philippines. So, man, he beat Lennox Lewis. Lewis is 4 and 2. I think Lewis will be eligible at least one more tournament. Yeah. Because he's, he hasn't hit the magic, the unmagic 7 number, if you will. So, who's the one? I forgot to um, do the condition. Which fighter? That kind of does help me figure out how these guys are going to do it. I really haven't seen too many like super hits to hurt people. Cut unlike the other tournament, which we saw Tyson oh, Lennox Lewis take a big fight. And I can't remember, I think it was the semi-final that he he and his opponent both had gashes or something.
Let's do the sword cards. Sword cards, wow, it's tight. The last two rounds were even, so this could be down to the wire. I wouldn't be surprised if they call it a tie or something. I'm not for sure that this would be a close fight. Now Tiger's going to have to fight it out. These guys gonna fight each other. I don't like the holding process. Yeah, round 15. Whoa, no, he's got a cut over his left eye. That is not good for Tiger. But these guys are going to fight it to the end. They know that the Lord Day waits for them in the final. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. Now, the score cards have it. As 146, 140 for Charles. So I think that Charles opened up on Tiger. And that knockdown doesn't help Tiger's thing. So Amy Hayes will be making the announcement. Bird scores about 147, 139 for Charles. Oh, uh, come on. Someone actually thinks that Tiger won the fight? Cavalieri scores at 143-143. That is bladed. How can you score that a tie? And Otto goes of Italy, scores the fight 146-140. For Charles. It has to be Ezra Charles. Yes, it is. I mean, Cavalieri, why? Like, the other two really said Ezra won the match. Look at the numbers. And the knockdown. What did Dick Tiger? What did Dick Tiger do positively? He did nothing. Thankfully, though, it is not a bad fight. So, Alorde versus Ezra Charles, four and zero. Charles against Alorde, four and one. From Cincinnati Gardens, Frank Shane is your announcer. Hoover, Hoover Earl, the great Canadian referee, will fight. Will be the referee. Alison Hart and Feldman are your judges. Max Davis, your ringside expert. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the finals of the 1956 tournament. It is in the fighters, first in the blue corner. From Boku, Philippines, he's 5'6", with 137 pounds, with a record of 4 wins and 1 loss, and 1 knockout. 
Here is the junior lightweight superstar. Gabriel Flash Alorde. And in the right corner from Cincinnati, Ohio. He is six foot tall, 181 pounds. Four wins, no losses, no ties, with two kills. The light heavyweight superstar, Azar Charles. So the hometown boy, Ezra Charles, takes on Gabriel Alorde. Who would have been in the United States getting this one? Or the Philippines got this win? Now there is a now there is a big thing. Whoever loses, anybody loses this fight, they will automatically go to the next tournament, no matter what year it is. So they'll be in one. Charles is gonna be careful. No reasons. Hoping. Lord has got him. Charles has got to do something here. He's got a small guy. He's gonna do something here. Four cards checked. 78, 73. Yeah, I think this fight's getting away from Charles. He needs to restore American pride if he can leave it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Because you're in deep trouble. Because what's falling is not going to help you. Thank you. Forty-six, one thirty-eight. I think we know who wins this one. Did Ezra do it? Tommy Hart, one forty-four, one forty. Well, sir. Okay, one forty-five, one thirty-nine. I think I can probably guess who wins this fight. Gabriel Elorde. I think it is much. Those those middle rounds were what helped him out, and Elorde. Is the Philippines a, a member in the 128-man battle royal? For good news for Ezra Charles is that he'll have another chance to qualify when he fights in the next tournament, no matter what happens. I mean, no matter what year it is. Yeah, it just, like, what's the difference? A bunch is thrown, but Charles had nothing. The two Canadians. Chavalo got split decision against Ortega. Willie Greaves. <clears throat> Actually, it'd be Johnny Cluso. I want to find out about Johnny Greaves. Holy Greaves. Like, um. Because he can't. I want to find out where he's from. But anyway, Greaves got TKO'd by Colossal Cuba, so. Yeah. It just happens this way. So. Yeah, great job by Alorde. 